So this is just a really quick video showing you how I'm going to turn a normal fiber optic front sight into a day and night sight. Now, as you can see, this one is made by Dominator. Uh, it was primarily designed for their shotguns um, or a type of shotgun, I can't remember. I just bought it randomly because it was uh, the fiber optic rod that I wanted. So we're gonna convert this into a glow in the dark and fiber optic day and night sight because um, I don't want to spend any extra money to buy some. So this is how I'm gonna do it. Right, so we start off with the sight here. As you can see, the optic rod there is picking up the light from all the angles and obviously channeling it through the front so it becomes very bright. So when you use it as a front sight, it's very, very obvious. You can see that it's very, very bright. I don't think anyone's gonna do this mod, but I think I'd share it anyway, because I thought it was quite interesting and it has some good tips on what you can do and what you can achieve with bare minimal tools. So the first thing you want to do is remove the rod, being careful not to snap it. They are quite brittle, these ones are anyway, from this side, they're just very cheap versions. So we're just gonna pop that out. And this is what you end up with, the internal part of the, basically the rod and the two retaining ends. And it's important you don't force these ends off because it will snap, as I said, the rod on this particular model is quite brittle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it under a hot tap, not boiling water, because that will melt it. I'm gonna pop this under a hot tap, and then as soon as it gets uh, too hot to handle, I'm gonna put it in the freezer. And as I just did that, as expected, the metal expanded and shrank and broke the glue so that it just slipped off. Next, I got a key ring, which cost me £1.50, which is probably about two US dollars from the Glow Company, which is a company based in the UK. Um, they're doing these key rings for about, I think it was £1.49 when they, they were doing them. Now, the reason I need, oh, there's the, uh, there's the website there if you need to get it. They're really hard to get because they're usually out of stock as they're very, very popular. But the reason I'm using this particular Glow in the Dark key ring is because of the actual Glow powder they put inside these key rings when they make them. Uh, now, if you notice, if you buy any old glow in a dark toy from a toy store you'll notice that they'll glow really really bright for about a second and then after about five seconds they'll dim and after about a minute they're barely noticeable whereas the type of uh, luminescent powder they put in these types of key rings is the very very high quality glow type powder that stays bright and very very glowy for a very long time i'll show you what i mean so this is a fully lit room and i'm just going to quickly show you exactly how bright these get with a quick glow from the flashlight. Now, as you can see, in bright daylight, that is incredibly bright. And it does stay like that for quite a while. And as it dims, it gets to a point where it's still noticeable, but not extremely bright. And it stays with that eerie glow for an extended period of time, which is what we're looking for in a, in a night sight. Don't worry about that black piece in there, I was just doing some heat testing and some experimentation on it. But the corner there is missing because I have cut out a corner. What I used was my cheap imitation, or should I say replica, Dremel. It was very cheap and uh, I cut out a corner there. And then what I did was I started to use the Dremel to round off the shape until I got a roughly round shape and it fit inside the front sight. And this is what we ended up with, a shape that is round and fits inside this front sight perfectly, just like this. Next, we're gonna to have to drill a hole in the dead center of the glow in a dark piece. We don't actually own a drill bit that's small enough to drill the hole, so what we used was a paper clip. What we did was heated it up until it got to a comfortably hot point where it can melt plastic. We very quickly and carefully punctured a hole in roughly the center there, and we used just this tool here. I'm not even sure what tool this is used for, but we found it at work, so we borrowed it and used it to um, kind of like uh, open out the hole and it was big enough for the end of the fiber optic rod to fit through. Then we simply put the fiber optic end into the hole and this is the end result. As you can see when it's all installed inside the site there, this is the way it functions during the day when there's plenty of light. As you can see it's picking up the ambient light from the top there. If I just cover that this site will dim because the fiber optic rod can't pick up any light or if you go into a low light situation and you need glow in the dark functionality the ring on the outside now caters for that. So it's kind of a, a double now, which we're really pleased about, uh, really happy about this. That's what it's gonna look like during the night. And that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, have fun, stay safe, and wear eye protection.